it never fails. It's just before December, just before Christmas, just before Vlogmas, and I'm sick again. I swear to God, every year this happens to me. So, um, I am off for a bit of the afternoon today because I, um, I'm up for a bit of the afternoon today because I'm still, as you can tell, not feeling well. And um, I'm just going to catch up on a few things that needs to be done around here. When I'm sick, my household stops. I don't know, is anybody else's household like that? But when I'm sick, my household absolutely stops. Like, the laundry doesn't get done, the dishes, take a look. So they don't get done either. That's like probably three days worth of dishes. Uh, my kitchen table. Stuff that my husband has picked up for me or like just stuff, it needs to go away. And I just got a text from my husband that said, so are you gonna get some rest this afternoon so you feel better? I'm like, no, seriously, who's going to do the dishes, the dish fairy, or how about the laundry? So I am going to attempt to do some dishes today. I'm going to attempt to at least clean up my kitchen here because it's disgusting. Somebody used my microwave and did this to it. Can you see that? I'm hoping you can see it because whatever it was, it's all over my microwave. And uh, also, it's a beautiful day out, and I'll just let you see outside. So the sun is shining, everything looks really good. I have some flowers from the summer right there some ferns out f out front and that to the side here and I've got some mums and I've got another little flower over there that needs to be put away I have to take them across and put them in the dumpster at some point in time today so there is a lot of stuff that I really need to get done and yay so that's kind of what I'm doing today quickly show you something um, that pisses me off so um, when my husband or my son or whatever is cooking and they're cooking something I have a spoon that you can that goes on here like this you know for a spoon rest I just washed it but instead they use my counter so can you see the stain look at all the stains so another right there. Like it stains my counter. So I'm just going to kind of show you how I get it off because I feel as though I am a pro at this now because it happens to me quite often. So I will just grab what I'm looking for here. 
since it happens multiple times, like I said, I feel as though I'm a, a pro. Okay, so, back to the stain. I use this comet and one of these sponges. Okay? So, first, I get a little bit of water and I just am going to wet that area and this area. Then I'm going to use this comet and you don't need a very, very much of it, just a little bit. So I've got this big extra heavy duty 20% free because I use it so much in my house. Then you take this scouring side and just rub it in. And you're just rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. Okay. And then it looks something like this. Uh, it's not going to show you, but now I'll wipe it off and show you. So, staying gone. Sorry. Staying gone. I should maybe mention to you that this is like a cheap laminate counter. It's probably been since the 80s, so there's no worry about it getting wrecked which is just okay with me. So, once again, get yourself some comments. This stuff is the bomb. Get yourself some comments. Don't clean anything up. Especially if you have a house of pigs like mine. So, I have a couple more things left on my list to do. It's crazy. Um, one is, as soon as I find it, I've got to take this dove or Dawn, excuse me, Dawn, and clean my makeup brushes so they're ready for school tomorrow. So, that's next on my list. I only have these eye brushes this week because last week I only did an eye and tried to perfect it. So, we're going to be cleaning those. Just going to use this. It's just a little mermaid mat that I use to clean. So, let's get on it. I've changed my clothes. I'm now wearing my painting shorts and shirt. Get used to that. I wear them often. And I'm going to try to get this done. So this is my hallway. Flip it around. Uh, I'm going to turn on some lights because it's really dark today. So I want to make sure that I can see well. But anyways, all of my rooms have been done, There's this as well, except for this hallway. And as you can tell, from this bedroom in here to this, 
this is the difference. So I want to get this done today. Um, I want to get it done and get the paintbrushes out of my um, fridge because they're in my fridge. That's where I keep my paintbrushes when I'm in between painting if I don't want to rinse them out. So I want to get them done and I want to get this thing done and over with. So that's what's next on our list. So our laundry room is really tiny. We have stackable washers and dryers, my son's laundry, and now my laundry. Pretty soon there's not going to be enough room for me. So let's get this done. Another load of laundry in. That ought to keep us all having clean laundry for the rest of the week. It is such a quiet day here. Here's what's happening. We have one little sleeper and two little sleepers and I'm sure if we look around we'll find the other two cats sleeping. All right back to painting. So still doing some painting trying to get that done. But right now we're loading up some laundry. I really have to start a load of my husband's work clothes to get those things all done. I feel like my days are never ending. Like there's just not enough time in the days to be able to get these things all done. I don't know. I don't know. Is it just me or is it everybody else feels that way too? Okay, so I finished the hallway. Um, this doesn't give really good light, so I'll just turn you around a bit. So just this hallway needed to be painted. You can still see where it's a little bit wet right here. And then up there, it's still wet. But, yeah, so all in all, that's good. I needed to get that done before Christmas. I wanted to get that off my list. Um, I still have to paint the white trim and a couple of the doors uh, still, but I left the paintbrush in the fridge too long, and when I went to take it out now, it's hardened, so I had to throw it out, and I'll have to get another one. And, yeah, so that's about it, but um, I did want to get that all done, and I did, so I'm very happy with that. Then I quickly ran down to the store that closes at 4, so I could get down there and get myself some ravioli for supper. And I went in with my paint clothes on, which is shorts and a tank top. And everyone kind of looked at me a little silly, but whatever. I got it, got home, and I'm done. So now I'm just going to wait and get the laundry and then put it away and start some supper. And yeah, I think I had a pretty productive day. So... Take care. See you later. Please like and subscribe this so that I know you like it, and I'll see you in tomorrow. What do you think we should have? We need to make something with chicken. What do you think we should have for supper? Like, do we need some kind of chicken stuff? Do you think chicken will be okay? Do you like chicken? Chicken for supper? Yeah.